Hey, it's Coffee with Coach Kearns. It's episode 74. And I've always been in awe of like bridges. You know, here's this bridge above me over the Blackstone River. And I've always been just in awe of the craftsmanship. I forget when this was built, but I remember going out to the Golden Gate Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge and just being like dumbfounded because people built this stuff <laughs> with blood, sweat, and tear. And when you think about a bridge, it's a good metaphor for life because you have to bridge things all the time. You have to bridge your thoughts, you have to bridge your feelings, you have to bridge your ways about you, you have to bridge concepts, you might have to bridge new knowledge, right? New challenges, new things, new experience, bridge new experiences. So, you know, a bridge, and they just can, can go on forever. So when you think about it, you know, you look at the, the Golden Gate Bridge, it's like, you know, I think it was built in like the 1950s or 60s. And you look at it and go, what? How, how, do, how do they? I mean, can you even conceive of how they did that with? I, I can't even think about how they did that. I mean, it's just amazing. You know, human beings, you can, you know, a human being can be anything. A tree's going to be a tree. A squirrel's going to be a squirrel, right? A dog's going to be a dog. They have no other option. Human beings can do anything and be anything. You know, that's why they're great at bridging things, bridging the gaps. And it's a lot of carry over from martial arts being able to bridge ideas and be able to bridge techniques so when you look at that you know think about the bridges you you've built in your own mind and some bridges you've got to blow up or burn down you know some of the old memes the viruses in your mind that don't work anymore the programming that somebody instilled that somebody told you over and over and over and over again it's like you know you beat a dog enough and the dog's gonna think something's wrong right when something's wrong with the dog, that's the way the dog reacts. Same thing. So think about bridging those ideas and those thoughts and also think about maybe those bridges that need to be blown up. You know, your, your, maybe you, your confidence issue with something or work issue or something like that. You know, you don't want to ask for this. You don't want to go for that because you're afraid of failure, afraid of whatever. Well, you know what? If you take the mind that you had when you learned how to ride a bike, you weren't afraid of failing. You just rode a bike. You figured it out. You were scared of falling more than failing. So why do we fall? To learn to pick ourselves back up. Okay? Be relentless. Oose.